Hello, this is Haruo Shimada, a chairperson of Tokyo Metropolitan University. Uh, today I'd like to talk with you uh, uh, one of the three branches of Tokyo Metropolitan University Group. Uh, the name of that is, uh, organization is officially called Advanced Institute of Industrial Technology. Uh, this is located in Shinagawa and uh, uh, this institute uh, aims at uh, uh, assisting uh, mostly uh, experienced uh, industrial uh, experts uh, to, f to provide an opportunity for them to uh, upgrade their career or change their career or uh, assist them to start up their own companies. Uh, these are the major objectives of this uh, institute. And this is uh, comparable to the ordinary uh, graduate school level education. And this uh, institute uh, w was established uh, in uh, 2006. Uh, and uh, three years before that, uh, the Ministry of uh, Education of Japanese government uh, uh, coined a new concept uh, of graduate school called professional graduate school. And uh, according to that framework, uh, this uh, AIIT has been established. Now, AIIT uh, embraces about uh, 240 students a year, uh, and 170 of them uh, have been basically uh, experienced, uh, experiencing about 10 years or so uh, uh, work experience at various places, various companies. But they would like to uh, upgrade their career or change their career or even start up their companies so they join uh, this school. Uh, this uh, institute uh, invites quite a few uh, foreign students from foreign countries. Many of them though uh, live in Japan, uh, about 40 of them, and main, mainly they are Chinese people. And also about 30 uh, students uh, joined this school uh, institute almost immediately after they graduated from the ordinary uh, universities. Um, now, uh, this uh, institute uh, composed of two major uh, specialties. Uh, one is uh, information systems architecture. Another one is innovation for design and engineering. Uh, both uh, provide a master uh, degree uh, program uh, and uh, uh, perhaps uh, it, it may not be easy for you to understand what does it mean by information systems architecture. Uh, this is to train, uh, educate uh, students uh, in the field of uh, uh, information t technology, uh, communication, uh, computer, computer uh, system design and this kind of thing. This is a very fashionable area of the modern society. And another one is a innovation for design and engineering. Uh, uh, this is, uh, again, uh, may not be very easy to understand immediately when you hear this you know, expression. Uh, uh, let's think that uh, uh, we're living in the current society, uh, riding a car, riding an airplane, uh, or living in the urban system, you know, urban environment. All these things uh, actually need basic design uh, uh, for uh, automobile to run efficiently, comfortably on, on the street. Uh, it has to have a good design. An airplane, the same thing. Even the larger sense, the design of the s uh, company, design of the huge system, design of the uh, society, uh, it's all design. So uh, Japan uh, has been somewhat uh, delugged uh, uh, some decades ago in this area, but now it's catching up quickly uh, to provide a good design. Good design uh, actually uh, assures high efficiency and comfort and so forth. Uh, you may think of uh, a traditional thing, Japanese castle. Japanese castle is beautiful. Uh, European castle is also beautiful. And beautiful castles are strong, and they're good design. So this is a design thing, and this is a future-oriented uh, profession. Now, uh, the strong sales point of this uh, institute is what we call 
uh, Project Based Learning, PBL. Um, the learning uh, can be uh, done in many ways. Uh, sitting on the desk and listening to professors lecture, this is one way of learning. But more effective, more active, uh, more deeper learning is to organize a project uh, to create some uh, product or as, uh, output of the systems and uh, so that uh, you, you, you assign a role of leader, uh, one of them, and the help uh, associates. And this is a sort of team. This is like a, a making up a, a football team. And uh, by doing so, uh, you work together effectively, working with the actual environment, and learning through this kind of experience is much, much more effective than learning from professor's one-way lecture. And uh, uh, this is uh, looked after. Uh, many uh, countries uh, which, which are uh, working very hard to develop themselves uh, watch uh, AIIT, particularly PBL. So that uh, some years ago, actually 2011, uh, AIIT uh, took initiative to organize a what we call APEN, APEN, Asia Professional Education Network. Uh, in this uh, network, uh, uh, something like tw 12 or 13 uh, first-rate universities of Asian countries joined, uh, like uh, uh, Shanghai Transportation University, uh, Vietnam National University, Cambodia and Indonesia, Thai, Malaysia, Laos, Philippines, Brunei, uh, Myanmar, India, uh, many of them are national universities join there. And currently, the uh, president the Kawada of AIIT is the chairman of this and promoting, uh, 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 emanating uh, the idea of PBL and uh, uh, train uh, human resources uh, in, their, in, in these countries uh, together with the Japanese and uh, Japan. Another more recent uh, project that uh, AIIT launched is a, a senior startup program. Uh, uh, Japan is rapidly aging, and uh, we envisage that uh, Korea uh, will be even like a hundred years uh, f f for for relatively young generation of Japan. And living hundred years is quite a quite a quite a challenge. Uh, you need to update your skills all the time and, and most active people would like to open their own companies. And uh, this uh, AIIT asked the people how many of them would be interested in joining this. Great many people came and they would like to uh, study, work together, preparing for themselves to build up a new company. And uh, most senior uh, person was uh, older than 70 years old. That's great. And this is really a uh, very much attention has been uh, on this program and the uh, Japanese government uh, Ministry uh, of Economy and uh, uh, Industry or Ministry of Education once in a while visit this university as a success case and uh, this is outstandingly success case of uh, Japanese professional school which has been initiated about a decade ago. So this is what we are. Thank you.